Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will learn about Puppet Forge Modules Repository. Puppet Forge is a repository of modules written by our community for open source and Puppet Enterprise. Currently it have 5,942 modules which will keep changing or will got changed while you are going through this lecture. So with numerous automation, this list will keep increasing and old modules or unsupported modules may be deprecated from Puppet Forge. There are various modules with official support start with Puppet Lab tag. So obviously these modules are designed for Puppet Enterprise support and Puppet as a vendor will provide the support for these modules. You can also test out Puppet Labs modules with open source if module is supported for open source. So, Puppet Forge provide various modules which will work with Puppet Enterprise and may also work with Puppet open source projects. So how to identify the best module for your need? Ok so as of now Puppet provides 5 badges to filter your need. First one is supported, which will apply filler for core modules, rigorously tested with Puppet Enterprise and supported by Puppet. Next is, Partner, which will apply filler for modules rigorously tested with Puppet Enterprise and supported by a partner organization. Next is, Approved which will apply filler for modules that meet our standards for being well written, reliable, and actively maintained. Next is, tasks, which will apply filler for modules can now contain tasks that take action outside of a desired state managed by Puppet. Next is, PDK, which will apply filler for modules compatible with Puppet Development Kit. PDK, Validation and Testing. Ok, so let's use the filter option to fill out the modules which do have supported badge. So it will list the 63 modules which are supported for any operating system. Now if you have any OS based requirement in your infrastructure that apply the filler based on operating system. Like if I will choose Red Hat. I will get the modules list supported for Red Hat operating system. So Puppet provide modules for various operating systems like, Red Hat, Windows, Debian, Ubuntu, OS X, Solaris, SLES, AIX, FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD, so fill out the modules based on operating system. There are also the community modules which might be supported by Puppet but not approved. So it's good to have, approved modules but you can also go by the choice like if you will select the install pip then you will find modules written by community have higher downloads. But it's not recommended to go with this approach and you must always test it very well before implementing it into production as you won't get support from Puppet if module is not approved from Puppet. Now let's take a look at one of the Forge module, the module name is NTP and with the description you can find out the use of this module, like installs, configures, and manages the NTP service. Next is, its compatibility with Puppet Enterprise versions like 2019.0.x, 2018.1.x, 2017 and its minor versions, 2016.4.x and also with with Puppet few versions like 4.9.4 and 7.0.0. It's also compatible with different operating systems. Red Hat, Ubuntu, Debian, Solaris, SLES, Scientific, CentOS, Oracle Linux, AIX, Amazon, Arch Linux and their versions like for Red Hat 567 and Ubuntu 16, 16, 18 and so on. Module should also have the description to how add this module and puppet file. And how to install the module. 
Like to install this module you have to run command puppet module install puppet labs ntp version 7.3.0. Next check the release of that version to decide if you want to install latest version or would like to install n-1 version, to install or any other version choose it and download it. Next is the readme, readme is the documentation of any module. It should have all the details of that module like, classes, templates, manifest and resource details. And while writing code we should include the examples which will help user to configure that module as per their environment. Like this module has module description, setup, usage, reference, limitations, development, and often the contributors. To get the information about code. Pull requests, projects, insights, and known issues of that module. Click on project URL, which will redirect you to GitHub page. Here you can find information about commits, branches, releases, contributors. For version release, click on release, and you can find all the release for that module. If the module release is not stable you can find all the known issues information on that module github page like these many issues is open and resold for the AWS module. So my choice will be to get the supported modules and if I am not able to find any related module which is supported I will look for all approved modules, and will test it first before deploying it to production. Okay. So in this section we have explored the Puppet Forge module and how Forge module can help us to automate the things without writing a single line of code. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.